How can a star be older than the universe itself? Astronomers discovered one that seems to break time itself. A star so ancient, its age challenges the laws of physics. Meet HD 140283, the Methuselah star. And here's what makes it wild. This isn't some distant speck we can barely see. It's only 200 light years away. You could even spot it with binoculars in the constellation Libra. So how does a star break the rules of time? What went wrong with our measurements? Or worse, our entire understanding of cosmic history? Let's find out. The star that doesn't belong. Methuselah caught our attention over a century ago, and not just because it's old. It's fast, screaming through space at about 800,000 miles per hour. That speed told astronomers something immediately. This star isn't from around here. It's a visitor, swooping down from the ancient halo of stars that wraps around our galaxy. Like someone from an old neighborhood cutting through yours on their way home. But the real clue came in the 1950s when scientists measured what it's made of. Almost no heavy elements just one 250th the iron in our sun. And that matters, because heavy elements are like cosmic birth certificates. They tell us when a star formed. In the early universe, there was only hydrogen and helium. No carbon, oxygen, or iron. Those appeared later, forged inside massive stars that exploded and scattered their guts across space. So a star with barely any metals? That's a fossil from the beginning. Before the universe got messy with all those heavier elements, Methuselah is ancient. But how ancient? That's where everything breaks, older than everything. In 2000, scientists calculated Methuselah's age using satellite data. Their answer? 16 billion years. Problem, the universe is only 13.8 billion years old. You see the issue? A star can't predate its own universe. That's like finding a mountain that grew before Earth existed. Something was deeply wrong. Either the star's age was off, the universe's age was off, or the measurements were garbage. Astronomer Howard Bond said it plainly. Maybe the cosmology is wrong, stellar physics is wrong, or the star's distance is wrong. So his team set out to figure out which one? Measuring the impossible. Here's the thing about aging stars. You need to know how bright they actually are, not just how bright they look. A flashlight up close looks bright. A distant lighthouse also looks bright. But their true power? Completely different. You need distance to tell them apart. For stars, distance is everything. Between 2003 and 2011, Bond's team used Hubble to nail down Methuselah's distance with parallax, watching how its position shifts as Earth orbits the Sun, then using geometry to calculate 190.1 light years away. Now they could figure out its true brightness. And from that, its age. They also plugged in newer theories about stellar burning. Helium sinking deeper into the core means less hydrogen fuel, so the star burns faster and ages slower than old models predicted. Plus, Methuselah had more oxygen than expected. Since oxygen took millions of years to become common in the early universe, that pointed to a younger star, too. The new number, 14.5 billion years old, give or take 0.8 billion still older than the universe. But now the error bars overlapped with the universe's age. Crisis sort of solved. Except the universe's age isn't settled either, because here's where it gets messy. We say the universe is 13.8 billion years old with total confidence. That comes from measuring the cosmic microwave background, the Big Bang's afterglow, and tracking how fast space expands. But lately, some methods give us different answers. Measure expansion using the microwave background? One number. Measure it using nearby galaxies and supernovae? 
A different number, about 10% higher. A faster expansion means a younger universe. Some estimates drop it to 11.4 billion years. If that's right, Methuselah is back to being older than the universe. So what's broken? Are we missing something about dark energy? Is there a measurement error nobody caught? Or is our expansion model incomplete? We don't know. But astronomers hope new data, especially from gravitational waves, will crack it open. What this ancient star teaches us, even with all this uncertainty, Methuselah tells us something crucial. It's a second-generation star. It formed from the ashes of the very first stars, the ones that exploded just a few million years after the Big Bang. Those first stars, called Population 3, were pure hydrogen and helium. When they died, they scattered heavier elements into space. Methuselah was born from that enriched gas, but early enough that it barely collected any metals. It's a window into the universe's childhood. By studying stars like this, we learn how quickly the early universe evolved, how long heated gas from those first explosions took to cool down and birth new stars. Current models say only tens of millions of years. And Methuselah's chemical fingerprint, that weird excess of oxygen compared to iron, reveals what those first stars made when they exploded. They churned out oxygen faster than iron. It's a clue about the nuclear furnaces inside stars we've never seen. Still the oldest. Today, better measurements put Methuselah somewhere between 12 and 14 billion years old. A 2025 study using asteroseismology, reading vibrations in the star, gave the sharpest estimate yet, 14.2 billion years, with just 0.4 billion years of uncertainty. Still, one of the oldest stars we know. Maybe the oldest. And while it's no longer definitely older than the universe, the fact that it came so close tells us something important. We're at the edge of what we can measure. Methuselah is forcing us to sharpen our tools, refine our models, and question our assumptions about how everything began. The oldest story. So next time someone says we've figured out the universe, think of Methuselah, a single ancient star racing through our galaxy, carrying secrets from when the cosmos was barely born. It formed when the universe was young and wild, when the first stars had just exploded and scattered the elements that would eventually make planets, oceans, and us. And it's still there, glowing faintly in Libra, reminding us that the universe keeps secrets we're only starting to uncover. Because the oldest stories are the ones that make us question everything we thought we knew. If you enjoy stories like this, the kind that make you question what we really know about the universe, make sure to subscribe. There's so much more out there waiting to be uncovered and you won't want to miss what we find next.